Yo ho! Welcome back to the channel! And thank you for patiently waiting. WWE 2K18. This is over two weeks old now. And we return with episode one of the Universe Mode Season 2. No intro, no foreplay. No time to get my beautiful audience all comfortable and warmed up. We're getting straight into this push WrestleMania Raw with a former Universal Champion, Finn Balor. Glitchy ring jacket and all. This is 2K game, alright, but here's a recap of WrestleMania's main event. It was Demon vs. Phenom at the Citrus Bowl. Finn Balor throwing all kinds of purple and black bombs at the dead man, but the underseller just kept on coming. Tombstone Power Driver and a big red belt is back around the waist of Mr. Callaway. WrestleMania was an extravagant all right. And if you didn't see it, you missed out. But it's not too late to go back into the archives. Treat yourself to a little recap. Back to back matches with two Irishmen, Conor McGregor and Brock Lesnar. In that main event, Ronda Rousey. Defeated by Stephanie, my man. Successful title defense by AJ Styles and even The Rock. Stuck his nose and broke a cup of coffee. But here comes the man that creative forgot. Neville, one of the company's most talented wrestlers underutilized is a tragedy adrian neville over the past few months enjoyed a career resurgence famously this past couple of weeks does his best cm punk impression famously walking out of the company and taking an impromptu sabbatical will he return once he's calmed down or is he japan bound perhaps one more dance with ricochet in new japan let me know your thoughts and feelings on Neville in the comments below, man. Let's get some interaction going on this channel for a change. The aforementioned Ricochet on this channel in this universe. Cruiserweight champion. As he dethrones Will Ospreay at TakeOver. Back to the match at hand now. Neville with that low basement dropkick to the face of Finn Balor. The former Universal Champion is being humbled by the Geordie Neville. The former Cruiserweight Champion being bigger rated. After finding this mean streak, and Balor goes airborne with a flying axe handle off the ring open. Balor losing his drip on Neville like a part time fisherman, fumbling his prize back into the water. Let's not forget, Balor is the former Universal Champion, has a rematch clause in his contract. And you know one is going to be interested to find out how Mr. Devitt weighs up his options. And there's the John Wu drop kick. Neville is beaten. Lays motionless as Finn Balor takes a trademark position on the top rope. Coup de gras into the abdomen of Adrian Neville. There's a free count, it's all she wrote. And just as we would expect, the Irishman bounces back from the devastating defeat at WrestleMania by The Undertaker. Coup de gras never ceases to impress, never fails to destroy. Finn Balor off to a winning start on our post WrestleMania Raw in season 2 of the Universe Modus. Balor hasn't left the building yet. Microphone in town. What's the man gonna tell us? intestinal fortitude of Finn Balor. Not many people have the testes to call out Mark Calloway. The Irishman put the near 50 year old body to mass torture last night at WrestleMania. The intimidation factor, very obviously not in this discussion, but it's respect. Is the respect there between these two men? Are they about to announce a sequel? And the underseller, 
reciprocates. He relents and he grants him Balor his rematch at Extreme Rules. More details to follow. But coming up tonight, our main event for the first time ever in the history of the world. Joseph the Samoan versus The Undertaker main event here on Raw tonight. And we are back on Monday Night Raw. New game, old faces in new places. Please welcome back Mickey James to the WWE Universe. The legendary Mickey James returned at NXT Toronto in a cameo against Asuka in the form of her life, landed her a contract in the WWE and now here she is on Monday Night War taking on the women's champion, uh, excuse me, the new women's champion, Bailey. Let's pull up that vault, open that WrestleMania recap. And a pretty unavenging six women's ladder match to open the show at the Citrus Bowl. In any event, Bailey would finally recapture the WWE Women's Championship, successfully finishing season one of the Universe Mode, the same way she began it, winning the Women's Championship. Oh my days, it's Oscar, the former NXT Women's Champion, and pushing the Raw Women's Champion from behind. Oh my God, the Empress showing up out of nowhere. A Monday Night Raw, dropping the NXT title to Trish Stratus and take over. What the? She must be on the main roster now. She's left behind the jobbers of NXT to award Mickey James a head start against the Raw Women's Champion. Nice head to the takedown by Mickey James. Bailey fights back valiantly with the forearms. Now this shot across the chest of Mickey James. Sends the Virginia veteran into the center of the ring and feeds her a back elbow with a spoon like a baby. Bailey misses the dropkick by a country mile. And Mickey James with a kick to the gut. Set to right platter on the top of her head with the Mickey DDT referee on the fours and it's over before it can even begin. Mickey James with a victory over the women's champion. That work won the see ranking, planting her on the top of the cranium. The Lorraine DDT, otherwise known as a Mickey DDT, or it's me, you, your dad, and in text was called it the Tornado DDT. It doesn't matter. She got a finish. And pretty much topped off a horrible hill coming for Bailey in the process. Mickey James, this character model looking very, very good on 2K18. And I know there's been some questionable ones. Let me know in the comments who you think is the worst character model on 2K18. But here comes the former stardom ass kicker. Formerly known as Kana summoning Bailey, a former. Challenger of hers at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Asuka with the kicks to the gut. Stiff, stiff. Spinning crescent kick to the face of Bailey and she is out. Bailey is out cold as ice, ladies and gentlemen. Asuka holding up that white and red belt aloft like it's hers. Asuka makes a statement. Welcome back to the channel. Here comes the Kingslayer Seth Rollins. Involved in a WrestleMania moment of his own. Maybe not for reasons that he would be proud of. But it would be pretty fitting that any home state of the legendary great one, the Citrus Brown in Orlando, Florida. Seth Rollins came out to complain that he was not booked on the show despite being on the cover of 2K18. Out came the great one. The drum roll and the cash raise. Echoing throughout the arena. Atmosphere with Steve Pitch. The electricity. The goosebumps. Rocky Maivia. AKA Dwayne. Return to WrestleMania 32. And belated apologies to all my Seth Rollins fans out there. We we'll probably would have liked to see him feature in that universe a little bit more, but when you got like a hundred plus people on the roster. When you're trying to offer something different to what we see on TV week in, week out. It's hard to accommodate someone like Mr. Tyler Black. But the Rock would come out with all his catchphrases and the verbiage that buries Mr. Rollins, but it would be this moment, the handshake. Which is all the news. Drags him in for the Rock bomb. Right in the middle of the Citrus Bowl. Took up his post. And saluted the audience. The only way to blind the bull can.
Oh boy, it's about to get serious. The kayfabe cousin of the rock himself. And right, the current United States champion Roman Reigns, a successful title defense against John Cena. He's probably doing wonders for the confidence of a man who's already on top of the world in the WWE. And it is set, ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, the main event. Roman Reigns takes on Seth Rollins in non-title competition. But coming up next, first time ever in the history of the WWE, Joey Samoa, The Underseller. Samoa, Joey versus The Undertaker, and it's next. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Man, them and girl, them is Samoa Joe. Former NXT champion before he was asked, kicked out of the developmental promotion by Hideo Itami. Pretty much had a supporting role in our universe mode. Made a feature in the Elimination Chamber. But don't let this distract you from his veteran legacy, the man's inordinate ability to mash a man up and make them tap out. And the irony that two men who couldn't be any more similar to each other share one common interest an affection for mixed martial arts very curious to know how many of my viewers are Samoa Joe fans if you want to see more of Samoa Joe on the channel just leave a Joey Samoa in the comments but ladies and gentlemen before the bells even began to ring these two men are on the collision course in the hour Undertaker throwing bombs at Samoa Joe Right, left, right, left, and an uppercut. Samara Joe saying loudest, louder traditional boot. I'm making a name for myself, and he goes after the Universal Champion, The Undertaker. And perhaps he bites off way more than he can chew the Zachary's line. Joe takes the phenom off his feet. And the referee tried to maintain some kind of order. Joe breaking from The Undertaker, trying to get back on top of Samara Joe. And Joe reciprocates. Nice sick kick from the former Ring of Honor champion. Former NEC champion. And now the Undertaker. The best pure striker in the game. A quote from Michael Cole. A man who clearly has no idea what he's talking about. Stomp to the face. of Samoa Joe. This is going to be ugly. Bowling through ugly. Where's my man JR? And the fight spills to the outside. Undertaker. A bump like that is never good for a 52 year old man. Joe with a boot across the side of the face. We are witnessing an annihilation. The Universal Champion being exposed here as a vulnerable entity. Now Joe hoists him up onto the top rope. Holds him up and drops him in the center of the ring. Break her neck. Mark Calloway. Joe clearly unremorseful of what happened to Tyson Kidd because he does it again. To the legend, but he kicks out. Now yeah, the end of the day, showing signs of life. Will the phenom get a second wind? And now he sends Joe packing over the top rope. Signaling for the tombstone, but he's frozen in time. And now eats a combo from Samoa Joe. Octopus stress is no good. Undertaker breaks free. Hand on the throat. Choke slam to the map. Man, it's got no time to relax. Do you want an encore? Choke slam number two. Samoa Joe is dead. Burial pending. Tombstone pile driver. Shoulders on the map, bright lights on the epitaph. Undertaker. Oh my days! Samoa Joe kicks out of the tombstone pile driver. 
here on Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. Can I get a rewind? Tombstone Pro Driver number two. Folding the arms. Referee reclaims his position on all fours. And that puts him away. Unbelievable. Samoa Joe with a hell of a fight against The Undertaker. Surely a contender, surely in the discussion for Universal Championship match later on down the line. But here comes Finn Balor. Congratulate the champ. Maybe with his fist he does. Finn Balor, man, pushing the Universal Champion. He's just been through hell and back. And Joey Samoa having a seizure on the outside. Prince Devitt ready for the drop. Coup de gras to the 52-year-old ribcage of The Undertaker. The battle line has been drawn in the sand. Finn Balor signs his rematch clause for Extreme Rules. The first pay-per-view of season two. Finn Balor motioning to the ramp for whatever reason. Undertaker trying to fight back, but he's surely exerted by this point. Carl Anderson, Lou Gallows. We can only mean the reunion of the former, the original Bullet Club, and it's a morning here on Monday Night Raw. Undertaker's dead, and the Bullet Club are alive. Extreme Rules, Finn Balor takes on the Undertaker. Let me know in the comments below what the stipulation should be. Do you want to see a street fight? Hell in a Cell. Last man standing, give me a clue. Mandem and Girl Dem, it's time for the main event. Roman Reigns, the United States Champion. Laid down and challenged to Seth Rollins. Teaching him for talking shit about his kayfabe cousin, The Rock. A man too busy to spend the night in Orlando, Florida to show his face on Monday Night Raw. So the next best thing down the phony bloodline is the big dog. Successfully putting away the face that runs a place. John Cena at WrestleMania. Clean, clean as a whistle. But it's time for Seth Rollins to bring his name back into the discussion. To win the door ways back. Back to the Shield days. Back to the floor of the championship wrestling days. And yet I get it, they reunited in the current narrative. But after a year of Rollins and Ambrose, we didn't get much of a Reigns and Rollins perspective of the Shield fallout. Now Roman Reigns manhandling him, overpowering. The high flyer early on. Roman Reigns recently sitting out of DLC's Shield reunion. The place was taken by Kurt Angle and the match was watered down into nothing more than a smoke and mirrors match. Nice got red suplex from Roman Reigns, the United States Champion. Is he a face? Is he a heel? Nothing matters at this point. He's a spear machine. What is counts with the DDT? Catches his breath, sends Roman packing through that middle rope. Time for a toe play, perhaps? Somebody better come up with a better nickname than Kingslayer or Architect for Seth Rollins soon. Because I can't bear to call him either for much longer. Suicide dive to Roman Reigns. Reigns clatters his head on a barricade. Man them and God them, have we seen the turning point in the match them? Rollins. Looking for the outside moonsault and he squashes Roman Reigns nicely like a pancake. Might have to call him Seth the Anvil. And there's a trademark flying knee to the face of Reigns. Is the end in sight for a historic victory for Seth Rollins. Rules him up to his feet. The US champion resists for the Eastern Netbreaker. And Roman Reigns wisely rolling to the outside. Well, let's go for the sweet one Superman punch out of nothing. Let's get a replay. Reigns rolls outside. Rollins springboards. Eats a Superman punch for tea time. Reigns is back on top. That was the equalizer. Splash Mountain power bomb. God, I love that move. And Reigns nails a spear for the first time in the match. Spear to Seth Rollins. Pretty much the deadliest the most variable finisher on the WWE roster. The spear by Roman Reigns hooks a leg. Is that old man Warren? Rollins escapes. Yes, the shoulder up drama here. In episode one, and this match must continue. Reigns then packing over the top. Rollins breaks his neck on a ring barricade. Folded in half like a nice homage to Lita, Amy Dumas. 
Maurice thinks I'm a Maurice Azama, but Rollins no sells it. Reigns eats the guillotine. Rollins takes his position on the top rope with a missile drop kick to the back of the head. Colby Lopez chops up the advantage with the King's Landing. Unbelievable and historic victory of the United States Champion. A Monday Night Raw clean as a motherfucking whistle. Seth Rollins nails Roman Reigns with that knee to the face. Right on the button. Seth Rollins asked for the rock. He got Roman Reigns. And perhaps now Seth Rollins can command respect. Yo, I want to thank you all for watching as always. Thank you for being patient. I know it's been a while since I've released some content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel, future videos and wrestling video game GIFs. Let a man know in the comments below what you want to see, what you liked, what you don't like. And I'll see you in a bit.